Hi and welcome along to another Paramix Discovery tutorial. My name's Rob. I'm just going to cover some of the new features we've introduced as part of Paramix Discovery 22 when running and configuring models. So I have my test model here. The first thing I'd like to show you is by jumping into the Simulate tab, we have now introduced for you uh, within the output section new start and end times and uh, intervals for each of the outputs that you wish to collect from your model. So in this particular case, if I uh, were to run this model, I'll bring on some results here. Um, I'm going to set my interval to one hour. I can do so by using the little arrow keys or by directly typing into the box. I'm going to set my start time between 7.45 and 8.45. So um, I'll set my start time to 7.45. Set my end time to 8.45 and my results will now be collected between those periods. My run configuration set up to run the ones, but of course I'll uh, need to set my start time to seven. I'm going to set my duration to two hours, so cover that period, and uh, I'll make sure my demand set is switched on. So I'm going to run that configuration now. You can see it's been picked up at the bottom, and is uh, is been is running away there. Whilst that is uh, running in the background, I'd just like to show you another new feature we've introduced as part of the run configuration itself. So users can still now get access um, to the start time duration, seed, demand sets, etc. But we've now also introduced a demand percentage waiting area. So you can now type manually in here uh, and say you want to increase globally your demand matrix. You can do so by typing in uh, a number here, or of course you may wish to de decrease that, but by default, demand percent situating sits at 100%, meaning 100% of your demand matrix is assigned to the network. If you're using scripts in the background, then uh, you can also pick them up here. You can see this particular model has one already set up. Uh, I can just show you that here. You can see a specific script called the A985 A876 has been uh, created. And of course, I can select that and any other scripts that may be available here. Whilst I've been explaining that, the model is now complete. So just to show you, the results are now output for the period we've specified, i.e. 7.45 to 8.45. I'll jump into the Analyze tab, open up my export statistics, bring in my database, and you can see uh, at the bottom there that the results are now output from 7.45 to 8.45, as, um, as it's been set in the top there, uh, as an interval of one hour. Of course, uh, users can now um, can still uh, change the interval as they desire, start times, duration, etc. from here. Uh, of course, you can get access to all your results as a CSV by uh, using the export button at the bottom. If I do that here, you can see that's been done uh, very quickly. And in the background, I have a CSV file, which of course I can open up and analyze in Excel as I see fit. Moving on, any of the changes you make to your configuration setup are directly reflected through now into the Visualize tab for you, making it nice and easy to pick up. So you can see here, my configuration one file has been set up using the same start time, seed, and demand percentage rating, and it's also picking up my script. So just to show you that, in the simulate tab, configuration one starting at seven o'clock, using my demand set one, and also using my, my script that I showed you earlier. So back in the visualize tab, uh, users can also set up a custom configuration here, if they wish to do so. So I could set my start time, say, from eight o'clock, increase my demand percentage rating, and bring on my script. Of course, once I click the refresh button, that information uh, changes the start time. I can then select play, and the simulation um, begins from 8 o'clock, like I've stated there. Another new feature we have introduced in here is in relation to the, the run speeds. So what you can now do um, is from the bottom here, we can select a particular run speeds, whereas previously we had 0 0.5, 1, 2, and five times real time, as well as max, we have now introduced some further run speeds. 10, 20, 30, and 50 times real time. To select these, you can use the mouse by selecting a particular run speed. The simulation reflects that. Or alternatively, you can uh, use the arrow keys also on your keyboard. So 20 times real time, 
30 and 50 and of course lastly max so it's uh, running as fast as it possibly can for you so some new features hopefully making things a bit nicer for you and a bit easier to use thank you very much for watching and uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial